Hello beautiful people from the internet. It is Connie over here today directly from one of my favorite places to be at, which is the woods, you know, somewhere where there's grass and trees is where I enjoy to be at the most. Today, after a couple of weeks of a very rough mental state, I decided to come here to try and start to fix it by being in a place surrounded by nature you know, hopefully that will help, you know, bring out some of my happiness again, which I'm sure will come out sooner or later. So very important because I'm here in the forest. I got my portable ashtray. If you are going to use beautiful places such, you know, as parks and forests, make sure to bring something to leave your ashes and cigarette butts in. And I'm just going to be smoking and enjoying. And I hope you enjoy as well. This is probably going to be a little quieter than usual. I don't know if I'm going to talk as much, but we will see. It's just been, it's been rough, but that's just life, I guess. So let's, let's smoke. When I come to places like this, I usually enjoy bringing my portable ashtray because, first of all, I never really get to use it because I mostly smoke in my car or even at home where I have my own like ashtray, you know a glass one like proper glass one so it's very nice to be able to use this um, if you've never been here this portable ashtray was a gift from my dad and I love it he knows that I love smoking at places like this one that I'm at right now but you know I don't know I am always very scared to see when I see people smoking in forests or parks and they are very careless and they don't bring anything to put their cigarette butts in. Ashes is like kind of whatever because they are biodegradable. But if an ash comes with an ember, that is enough to start a fire, you know, and that's not good. So that's why you need to be very careful. But I don't want to mother you. You know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing, I guess, in some aspects of my life, at least. At least that I know that when it comes to cigarettes and ashing cigarettes, I know what I'm doing. Everything else, it's kind of a blur. Like these days, I don't know what's up. Like I like to think I'm a good, I'm a good communicator. I've always been, I've always been able to speak my mind well and say what I feel and think. And the past weeks, that has been changing. It feels like I'm shutting down into a little ball. But somehow, and luckily. For me, I can still write, you know, I can still very much express myself when I journal. And I'm not exactly sure what is going on in my brain. After thinking for a couple days, I'm thinking that it's chemical, just the chemicals in my brain decided to flip a little bit on me. I'm not medicated right now. I used to take medication when I was younger um, for depression, you know, because Everyone gets the depression anxiety diagnosis at 13. Not everyone, but you know, a lot of people these days. Because being 13 is pretty hard. And when I was 13 was, or 14, 15 maybe, was when I started going to therapy, 13 I think. And that's when I got, you know, the news. Oh, you have depression anxiety, but 13 is such a pivotal age because, you know, at least I was in seventh grade and it's the age where you either realize you are good at making friends or you are not. And that is the age where I realized I was not good at making friends at all, you know? You know when you're walking with a group of people in school, just walking around the school, and there's like maybe a group of three or four or five walking in a line all together. I was usually the person that walked behind and, you know, it didn't really feel great, but it felt better than sitting alone somewhere. But I've always felt a little bit excluded. And I don't know, it got to a point where a lot of things were going on, a lot of emotions were going on. And I said to my mom, I need to go to therapy or else I don't know what to do to myself. And I found my very great psychiatrist that I worked with for like five years or six years, I think, and then we parted ways because I felt like I was not learning any new skills. And it's been like two years or three years that I haven't been in therapy, like two years maybe. And maybe it's time to go back. Maybe it's time to go back because I feel like the coping mechanisms that I do have are not enough these days because although I can control very well when I'm, for example, I used to have 
very angry periods of my life and now I'm not as angry as I used to be when I was a teenager which is to be expected when you grow up you know you start to learn how to manage these things but I still have some trouble um, dealing with the doom the sadness and I feel like I could learn some more coping mechanisms I feel like this is one of my favorite coping mechanisms you know going somewhere that I enjoy you know I just Ah, maybe in a weird way, I wish there was a reason for me to be sad because at least I could point it out and try to fix it. But after realizing that it's probably just chemical because nothing happened, nothing happened. It's just my brain. I started waking up and feeling bad again for no reason, like no physical reason, no apparent reason. So it, ca it has to be chemical, right? And I don't know what to do about that. Like, what can I do? Just wait it out? I've been going on more walks. I've been walking my dog, I've been running with my dog because I know that exercise helps a lot and I'm often a bit lazy, kind of a lazy person. I don't really enjoy doing exercise, but exercise is crucial for your mental state. So I decided to start running with my dog Luna instead of just walking her. I can't exactly tell you that it is helping, but when I am running with her, I feel this sense of freedom and, you know, just the wind in my face and I feel like I'm running towards something good, although I'm just running around my block, you know. I don't know, it's all very psychological, it's all very chemical these days and I wish I could fix it somehow, but at least I'm able to not be angry about it anymore, so that's one less emotion that I have to deal with, it's like I'm not angry about it, I'm just trying to figure out what's happening. I'm feeling better than I felt the past two or three weeks, but I still feel like I'm not completely normal or whatever that is supposed to be even. So I don't know, maybe we will be seeing more smoke sessions outside because I've been wanting to go outside more. We'll just see what, what happens from here. But just you know, these have been a little bit lower days in my life. So if I'm not as energetic or high speed or enthusiastic about things, that's just how it is. That's life by Frank Sinatra. I love that song. And whatever you are going through, you are not going through it alone. Look at me. I'm here going through it with you. And if you are having an absolute marvelous, wonderful time in your life, that's awesome. And I'll be there very soon as well, I'm pretty sure. And I hope you enjoyed this video, you know. And I hope you come back to watch more if you want to. So yeah, bye.